어. 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 하이 hey people, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another YouTube video. While I was away, I was thinking about video ideas for you guys. Okay, how can I put this? This time of year, we're in February, and the season is fast approaching. I am, I like making YouTube videos, okay? But I'm also a professional mountain bike athlete. I need to compete this year, I need to try and do my best, I need to learn tricks, I need to train. And it gets so frustrating because as much as I want to, I want to go and ride along a rope and see if I can balance on it, I have a million and one things to do. There's sponsorship stuff. The building at Woburn up the road, we're building an insane set of trails. My compound sat there with a pump track I haven't ridden in ages. Really boring because I do not take this life for granted, but there's a lot that goes into it. And sometimes spending a day making a video that's not like aligned with my focus as an athlete isn't the best way of me using time. So while I was away on this trip, I'll cut straight to it. I was thinking of YouTube video ideas and I thought, why don't I involve you guys, you guys, why don't I let you in on the process and just carry this camera around and my drone and my GoPro and just involve you guys with my life. I do a lot of cool stuff and I do a lot of boring stuff, but if I document the cool stuff, I can create a video for you guys that shows what goes into this. The story, the big picture, and there's loads of stuff to talk about. So today, look at the weather outside. It's insane. I can't believe the weather is this good, it's this warm. I went out this morning in a t-shirt. Today, this is the plan. While I've been away, I've had a load of deliveries, so I need to open up all the cool stuff, not the boring mail, the stuff you're interested in. Then, because of the weather, I'm going to my compound, which I need to check out and make a plan and repair. So I'm going to take my tools and do some work in my compound today because I've got three weeks to train for Crankworks and that's stressing me out. So I need to ride and make my jumps perfect. That's happening today. And then we're going to see where we go. So while I've been away, I've been sent Silverline stuff, my tool sponsor. And basically I ordered all this because of the plans I have at my compound. So we've got stuff like scaffolding spanners because I'm going to build a whole new rolling tower. Lights so I can build at night second light a really long tape measure because we've got such cool plans that i need to measure how long is this what did i go for 30 meters i'm not building a 100 foot jump this jigsaw isn't for cutting wood i'm actually going to make something now out of this jigsaw and this golf ball right i get the tightest glutes the muscles around your bum from riding bikes from being bent over drilling wood digging Digging's probably actually the big problem riding skate park and crashing and landing on my bum i get really tight glutes and i'm going to use this jigsaw and the golf ball to make a really really hardcore reciprocating muscle massaging device and as much as it might end up cutting me in half i've seen someone else with one that was actually bought and I'm gonna try and go for the built not bought option and make one of these things. This is a mains powered 700 watt jigsaw from Silverline. It's probably too much for what I need. We're gonna get 3000 RPM worth of massage. All right, let's have a look. Okay, it's massive. <laughs> That's massive. We need jigsaw blades. And it works, and it's actually really scary. I don't know why I'm gonna why I'm modding this to go anywhere near my body. But we've got the golf ball, which I've drilled a hole in, which needs to be mounted to the end of the blade, but I'd actually be completely mental to use this thing with the teeth still on. So I'm gonna take the teeth off the blade using a file, which was part of my delivery, convenient. Oh my God. I'm gonna attempt to file off the teeth. Um, let's see how this goes. I'm actually going to put goggles on. Okay, we're, we're kitted up. I'm not even taking the mic. This is the first pair of goggles I found. Okay, the blunting process is taking a while. So I'm going to show you some new shoes that I just opened. These new 510s are so cool. When I started riding for 510, the technology was clearly there. It was 100% the best soles, the grippiest soles, the most support. I've ridden 510s for about five, six years, which is crazy. But look at these. These are so smart. They're a proper 
collab. Adidas, Adidas, however you say it, that is one of the coolest looking riding shoes I've ever seen. With a 510 stealth rubber sole, which is insanely tacky, the best riding sole you could have. But they don't, they look like you could go clubbing or to the pub or riding in these. Leather tongue, nice leather, but oh, they're so cool. I cannot wait to ride these, but I do not want to ruin them. Anyway, the blunting process. I've managed to grind down the teeth enough for the golf ball to fit on the end. So I might just run with it in a minute. I'm, I'll, I'll blunt them a bit more. And then we can get this puppy made, which will be cool. Right, what else? There's another box here which has come, which we can open now. Oh, God, a knife. Fresh delivery of Maxxis tires. On my jump bike, I've talked about this before, I run the Maxxis DTH tires. They are rapid. 2.15 on the rear, 2.3 width on the front, obviously both 26 inch and tubeless. So they're really light, but as I talked about, I have crankworks coming up, which are huge jumps and they put berms in the courses and it's sometimes quite dry and gritty. So you do need quite a bit of grip and that means that this time of year I start to alter my setup a little bit for the big competitions because that bike is perfect for skate parks, Woburn, my compound. But when you're going like 30 miles an hour, which has been measured up a jump at crankworks, and then down a landing, a hipped landing into a berm, into another takeoff, I always prefer to run a slightly more grippy front tyre. So this is the Maxxis Pace. I'm going to run that on the front and keep a DTH tyre on the back. That's my plan. So I'm excited to test these. I've never ridden these tyres. It feels really lightweight. As you can see, it's a folding tyre. I'm excited about that. New bike setup. What else do we have? Let's just empty this out. Oh. I'm making such a mess in here. Uh, we've also got the Icon. That's the tyre. Okay, here we get a good representation. That is the tyre I ran on the front last year for Crankworks. And then the pace, as you can see, is slightly less tread. Similar. It's actually a really similar tyre. I imagine that's 100% going to be faster rolling. But I'm excited about this. I'm also going for a hat change, but which is purely inspired by the weather out there. I did really like that hat. But this one is a women's. Let's have a look. Oh god, it's small. Pretty pumped with that. Hat change. Um, right, this device that I randomly thought I'm going to make and now is part of the video, we need to carry on with. I've actually got so many Red Bull hats. A lot of them are still in the wrappers, so I try and keep fresh ones fresh and really get a good bit of wear out of old ones because I would have been overwhelmed with the chance of just having one Red Bull hat when it all started. So I do try and kind of get the most out of them. And this one was cool and I will continue to wear this one because it's got like cool wrench spanner shape nuts. I don't know, it's just, they're all different. That's the cool thing. All Red Bull hats are very different. Now, massage device development. Arrow dye, a two part glue. I'm gonna mix that up, put it in the golf ball hall. <laughs> Put it in the golf ball hole, that's a tongue twister, and glue it all up together. And then I'm going to try out the device. <laughs> okay, we have the two types of glue in equal amounts. So we'll mix them up. Let's mix it up. And I'm going to kind of await the comments and see what you guys think of these styles of video. Because moving into the season, this, is, this might be the way I do things alongside the key videos, the challenges, the stuff at Woburn, all of that, these may have to coexist together. And I'm awaiting your opinion, your very valuable opinions on the matter. Looking good. This is DIY at its finest, I tell you. Okay. Now the fun begins. Proper Blue Peter stuff, this. The reason I'm doing this is because I saw a video of one of these in action. And I looked and they're about 300 or $400 from America plus loads of shipping. And that seemed ridiculous to me for something I kind of was just interested in. So I thought I'm going to make one. Golf ball was free. I robbed it from a golf course. No, I didn't add it anyway. Well, I'm going to leave this to set and then later on I'm going to try it out. Right, let's head to my compound where we're going to make progress with my rolling tower and the compound as a whole. So let's go check it out. Hi, can I have a large strawberry milkshake, please? Uh, Naughty. Uh, that's everything, thanks. Here we go. Back at the compound. Right. 
we are back. So, compound. The pump track's looking bad, I'll be super honest. It's looking really bad. That last lip got new ply on it a few weeks ago, but it still looks good. You can see my shadow on it because we're starting to get the sun in the compound now. It comes round the tops of the trees and always middle of February, you get sun on the last mulch jump and then middle of March, you get sun on the first jump. So it's happening. And the top end of the pump track's got sun on. But I'm really disappointed actually with how the year went after I built the pump track because the build was epic. You guys all like, really got into it and gave me loads of advice and loads of comments and ideas. And it looked so good when it was finished. And now it's just, I almost feel like the process of making it was more fun than the notion of riding it. And that's kind of common because you get so into the ideas and like the design part. We're gonna have the sessions on it that it deserves. It's gonna happen. My focus right now is these main trick jumps because I need to do some tricks. It's been a long winter of jibbing and being a park rat and of digging woven. And now I've kind of realized all too late that I'm gonna have to send it in a few weeks. So. I've already been at the top of the rolling and I'm going to show you what it looks like from a drone and stripped all the ply off up there, which looks like this. It's absolutely disgusting. I've never had any luck at the compound with plywood. It just always delaminates. So when I was stripping it all off up there, along with the scaffold boards, it's like complete, it's a mess. So now all this stuff needs getting rid of, which I usually burn down there but it's too small to even move. So I'm gonna try and have a fire here in a wheelbarrow and see if I can actually burn some of it. But this is what the rolling looks like because it's proper skeleton mode now. And I got so many comments from you guys and just people saying sort the rolling out because there was holes in it and it was kind of dangerous. And I've usually tried to make things pretty good here. So this is what it looks like and I can't wait to get all the fresh boards down, look. Ugh. I've got 30 fresh scaffold boards, which are going to go up there, full width, 10 foot wide. It's going to be good. It's actually really scary. <laughs> All that horrible plywood needs burning. So I'm going to try and get a fire going with a jerry can full of petrol I've got in the back of the van. It's quite a lot, but it is wet. Go on, a bit more. Touch more. Go on, there you go. There's enough. Now we're talking. Look at that. Annoyingly, I forgot to press record because I, I guess I was kind of scared of the whole thing. I was thinking too hard. But we have a fire, so I'm going to keep throwing dry bits on until it gets hot enough that hopefully it burns the wet bits. Some of this is soaking wet. No, it's going to suffocate the fire. I might have to put more petrol on. This is my last effort at getting the fire to go good. <clears throat> Only because I feel bad that you guys missed the main initial explosion. Oh. It's quite uneventful. This has turned into such an ordeal. All I wanted to do is burn this wood. There we go. It's not gonna happen, is it? What a joke. I've been here an hour and I've achieved probably a negative amount. <laughs> <laughs> I've now got a wheelbarrow full of smoking wet wood. As we're here at the compound, I want to ask a question, a bit of a YouTube poll. See this mulch jump that hasn't been ridden for almost two years? If you could choose between non-ridable mulch jump or rideable airbag, which way would your vote swing? How would you cast your vote? I'm interested to know. Well, I'm home. Oh, and I've got a sticker on my hat. So, I've made the call that tomorrow I'm gonna ride my compound. And obviously to do that, I need to put all the scaffold boards on top of the rolling, screw them down, which is gonna take time. But with help, I think with two people carrying them up and me screwing them down, 
which f weirdly people want to help me do stuff like that because then we all get to ride my compound. So that's tomorrow's plan. So I shot home because I remembered my new 710 watt glute muscle massager has probably is probably good to go. It feels pretty solid like all the glue's gone off and I've wrapped some electrical tape around it to protect from the slightly blunted filed teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so the camera can't actually keep up with the 710 water. <laughs> it's way too industrial. Let's see what it feels like on the uh, quad muscles. Well, it works. It definitely, uh, definitely massages your muscles. But I think I should have gone for a less powerful jigsaw. It's massive, look. This isn't the sort of thing you turn up with it in your hand luggage at the airport and they're like, yeah, come on through, sir. What is it? Um, and can you see where the tape is? The golf ball started to come away from the blade, which is actually crazy. So that's a big problem because if the golf ball comes flying off, I'm left pushing a jigsaw into my thigh which isn't the idea so I need to revise my design a bit more and maybe find a way of securing it better I think the golf ball's splitting that might be the problem so today we did the first sort of vloggy video of with no real direction and I think it went really well I didn't achieve a great deal I built a device that 50% works and 50% could be the end of my career so I'm not sure I, was, I liked the experimentation process, but not really the result. So I might just stick to using it as it was designed. And I 100% don't recommend you, use, you do it like that at home. Probably get someone more professional to build you on. Um, oh God. This style of video could happen at a comp, at Crankworks, in practice. You know, where I don't have a plan for the day, but there is something happening. That's what I want to get at. I want to kind of make vlogs like this to sit alongside my YouTube videos which have a purpose and I'd like your feedback that would be really really cool as always you're all absolute legends I really appreciate you watching this video and hopefully you enjoyed it give me a comment give me a like if you subscribe you're a big legend and I'll see you in the next video thanks to you all the legs are feeling better already peace bye